So my name is Ruben Gobizi. I'm the chief of the shoulder and elbow service at University Hospitals of Cleveland Case Medical Center. And what we're going to do today is we're going to review a new or a relatively new procedure called arthroscopic biological total shoulder resurfacing. So this is an arthroscopic surgery and essentially uh, what we do in order to achieve a cartilage transplant in the shoulder using this technique is we bring the patient in. You'll see when we first put the scope in the shoulder, I'll do a routine diagnostic arthroscopy, look at everything, make sure the rotator cuff is intact, make sure that, that uh, uh, the chondral loss is what I thought it was going to be before the surgery, and then size up the uh, humeral head and the glenoid graft sizes, because there are different sizes I can transplant. Next, we're gonna, you're going to see that we take out the rotator interval and remove the biceps from the field. It gives us more working room. And then we'll start with the procedure where we start to re-prepare the surfaces of the humeral head and the glenoid so that they can receive the graft. This is a, a patient who essentially has classic uh, osteoarthritis of the shoulder, albeit at a young age. And the options for him today in my practice would be a, a total shoulder replacement with conventional prostheses or one of these alternative graft procedures, not osteoconal graft, which I think don't, I've, I've fallen out of favor and I don't use anymore, or this osteoconal grafting. I think debridement's already been tried, it did not work for him, and uh, so uh, here's where we're at, basically a bipolar graft. Okay, good. Nice. So here we have the glenohumeral joint. And you see here that there's a, uh, some grade one and two and three changes. And then you get down to here and you see there's a grade four change. You know what I mean? Here's a, here's a grade four change. Likewise, on the humerus, it's completely denuded of cartilage. It's a grade four.